It was the night of the year for cricketers and a host of other celebrities, the Lord's Taverners Ball at Grosvenor House. The Duke of Edinburgh and Princess Alexandra patronised the tombola. He is this year's president of the Taverners and sportingly handed back the prize he won, mink earrings. They wouldn't have suited him anyway. The money raised will go to the Playing Fields Association, the Duke's favourite charity, as it has been throughout the ten years of the Taverners' existence. This jovial club has nearly 400 members. The Duke met some old friends among the Lord's Taverners' eleven, amongst them Richard Hearn, Mr Pastry, and Peter Sellers, complete with undergrowth. Godfrey Evans, nice to see him playing again. The Taverners, very ambitiously, were playing the world, a sort of super test match. It looked like the shape of things to come next season, with more than a suspicion of throwing about the first delivery. However, on such an occasion, no use appealing. It was perhaps a relief for Australian High Commissioner Sir Eric Harrison that the next bowler was a real gentleman. In record time, the world had more than 400 on the board. Brighter cricket at last. 